My author is Patricia McLaughlin. Patricia McLaughlin won the 1986 Newbery Medal for her book entitled Sarah Plain and Tall. She was born on March the 3rd, 1938 in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Her birth name was Patricia Pritzkow. She was an only child who had a very strong relationship with her parents and she had a, an active imagination. Both of her parents were teachers who encouraged her to read, which as she gives us advice to young people who want to be writers, she says if you want to be a writer, you first have to be a reader. Although she was intimidated to write, as a child she did not want to be a writer when she grew up. She did not begin to write professionally till about the age of 35. She attended the University of Connecticut. After graduation, she became an English teacher for a junior high in Connecticut from 1963 to 1979. She is also a lecturer of children's literature at Smith College in Massachusetts, has taught creative writing workshops for adults and children. Early in her career, she was a social worker who worked with foster mothers at a family service agency. That is the focus of her writing. She started her career by writing picture books. Her first book was entitled The Sick Day, along with Through Grandpa's Eyes. And a third picture book that she has is All the Places to Love. She was later encouraged by her editor to write novels for a slightly older audience. Arthur, for the very first time, was her first novel. She wrote it in 1980. Patricia now lives in Williamsburg, Massachusetts with her husband, Robert McLaughlin, who is a psychologist. She has been married to Robert since 1962, and they live in Massachusetts with their two dogs. Patricia and Robert have three children, Emily, John, and Jamie, and two grandchildren. She has also co-written several books with her daughter, Emily McLaughlin, who is also an author. Some of those books are entitled Biddle, Once I Ate a Pie, Painting the Wind, and Fiona Loves the Night. Patricia's genre is fiction. She has written both picture books for young children and novels for young adults, although she says it is more difficult to write a picture book than it is to write a novel. She has also written five screenplays, three for the first books in the Sarah Plain and Tall series. The first screenplay she wrote was entitled Sarah Plain and Tall. The second one was entitled Skylark. And the third one was Sarah Plain and Tall, Winter's End. Her fourth screenplay was for her book Baby, which was also turned into a movie. And her last and fifth one was Journey. Patricia's books deal with very dark issues, such as parents disappearing or leaving their babies. She focuses a lot on family relationships. She is noted for her great handling of unconventional subject matters. Patricia hates when writers are condescending towards children. Patricia McLaughlin has won several awards. First and foremost, she won the Newbery Medal in 1986 for her book, Sarah Plain and Tall. She's also won the Christopher Medal from the Christopher Society, the Scott O'Dell Award for Historical Fiction for Sarah Plain and Tall, the Golden Kite Award from the Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators. She also has many American Library Association notable books and best books for young adults. In 2002, she was awarded the National Humanities Medal for her body of work. And in 1991, she was nominated for an Emmy in the category Outstanding Writing in a Miniseries or a Special for Sarah Plain and Tall. Patricia McLaughlin is the author of more than 20 books for children and five screenplays for adults and children. First, I'm going to talk about her Sarah Plain and Tall series. I'm going to begin by giving a little background information. Sarah, who is the main character in the book, is actually Patricia's mother's step-great-grandmother. She was the mail order bride. So this is about Patricia's family. This book starts with a father named Jacob. He lost his wife during childbirth. He has two children, Anna and Caleb. He's having difficulty raising his family and caring for his farm. So he decides to put an ad in the newspaper for a wife, someone who can help him out. Sarah is from Maine and she's very independent and very stubborn. She answers his ad and decides to come to Kansas for a visit to see how things would work out and if this would be a good fit for her. This is a really great book. It deals, it talks about abandonment, it talks about resentment, it talks about forgiveness and moving on. And the thing that Patricia likes about her characters in this book is that she likes them because they are imperfect. Sarah is very, very stubborn. 
Patricia had only written Sarah Plain and Tall. She had no plan to make it into a series. It was actually Glenn Close who wanted to do another film, so Patricia then wrote four more books. 